Well, chocolates and Valentine's Day always go together. Don't they? We've been on your side by handing out chocolates prior to the holiday, and all for good reason. Consumer advocate Jonathan Walsh was the one given this very tough oh. assignment. Oh, yeah, Leon. I had a real hard time sinking my teeth into this story, right? Well, we wanted to know which of these four brands right here, Northeast Ohioans, like the best, just to make sure your sweetie gets that sweet treat for the Valentine's Day coming up. And the results may surprise you. Chocolate is good. Why is it good? I don't know. Brightens your mood, I guess. <laughs> Kristen Swartz and Sean Garrow are not a couple, but they did take our chocolate taste test together and share their Valentine's Day secrets. I like giving the chocolates that come like a little stuffed animal so that when they get it, they have like something to hug on to and a nice treat to eat. To help your special someone's sweet tooth this holiday, we put four different dark chocolates in bags and labeled them A, B, C, and D. We bought Godiva, Mally's, Girardelli, and Russell Stover's. Our testers did not know which brand was in the bags. I like that you can taste the cocoa. Chuck and Sue Joy are a couple. In fact, they've been sweet on each other for the past 40 years as husband and wife. He used to you guys to be uh, chocolate covered strawberries because okay. I'm Chocoholic. I, I love chocolate. Joining our Chocoholics test, Nick Heller and Kevin Sheldon. Chocolate is a giant part of Valentine's Day. If you don't get chocolate for a girl, what's the point of Valentine's Day for her, you know? Exactly, chocolate Kevin, who also tells us. I'd spend a hundred bucks on a box just to make someone smile. We bought a 10.6 ounce box of Godiva chocolates for 36 bucks. 16 ounces of Mally's for $19.95, 5.25 ounces of Girardelli dark chocolate was on sale for $3.50, and 12 ounces of Russell Stover's for $12.99. The most expensive per ounce was Godiva at $3.40, then Mally's at $1.25 per ounce, followed by $1.08 for the Russell Stover's, and finally $0.67 cents for Girardelli. Many of our testers had the same idea as Chuck. If you buy a cheap box, that's what you're getting, cheap chocolate. But after close to 50 people blindly tried all four brands. And then here is B whenever you're ready for that one. Our results showed the top two in price were not the top two for taste. In fact, Russell Stover's came in first place. Did it really? Kevin picked bag A, which was the Russell Stover's. Wow. Wow, and I'm over here saying how much I'm going to spend on chocolate. Okay. Yeah. So did Kristen and Sean. What do you think about that? I think that is a great deal because good stuff for a cheap price, I will be there. And that's the short and sweet of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, isn't that nice? Well, listen to this. Girardelli actually came in second, and it was an unscientific test, but it was also the cheapest. So all of us who are on a budget... Revenge never tasted so sweet. I'm five on your side, consumer advocate, <laughs> Jonathan Walsh. Excellent. <laughs> yes, yeah, Jonathan's very popular in the newsroom My right now with all right of his there. chocolates. I think the important thing is to know which chocolate your sweetie likes best. Very true. That's what you need to keep in mind.